Okay. Uh, okay. Once you know the transform, this transform t that uh, moves from the marker to the camera, uh, you can move a point from this reference system to the reference system. So once you know that, then you could know how to project a 3D point onto the 3D onto your image. I mean, you can know where a 3D point projects on your image. Uh, I won't go into much detail about that, but in essence, uh, you once you know this, when you have a point in this reference system, you can use what is called a projection function projection function that uh, let's say let's put it like this let's say this is a projection function that takes a 3d point x y and z okay and a set of camera parameters okay and tells you in which point in which pixel this 3d point projects but this function this projection function requires to know the camera parameters these are called the uh, camera parameters. The camera parameters are basically the intrinsic parameters, which are uh, the focal length of your camera, uh, the optical center, and the distortion coefficients. I won't go much into detail, but the thing is that if you want to know where a 3D point projects, uh, given that the point is in the camera reference system, uh, you must know the camera parameters, the intrinsic camera parameters. Okay. Uh, in OpenCV, this is represented by two different uh, elements. On one side, you have the camera matrix, which represents the optical center and the focal length, and also you have the distortion coefficients, distortion coefficients that represents uh, the lens aberration, uh, the, the distortion of your lens. You need to know both. How do you get this information? By calibration. So if you want to know the pose of your camera, you first must calibrate your camera. Okay, so this is a important step before estimation, estimating the pose of your camera. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the calibration.